I will never, ever use WordPress, and here's why. WordPress is the most popular website builder in the world. It was first launched back in 2003, and year after year it grew rapidly, adding valuable features which have made the platform the most powerful and accessible in the entire world. Over the years, the WordPress community grew, and with it, so did the capabilities of the WordPress platform. Thousands of plugins were built, making it possible to build literally anything that you could imagine. And as of 2021, WordPress powers 39.5% of all websites on the web, and this number continues to grow year after year. And there are obviously a lot of benefits of WordPress, but in this video, I wanna talk about just the most important ones. First, WordPress is the world leader in web design and web development. So they've got a proven track record, and this means that they're reliable, and if you build your site on WordPress, it's not going anywhere. Next, because WordPress has been around for so long, they have built an incredible community and also an incredible library of resources and documentation that's going to help support you in your projects. And there is no other platform like this that has so much support that you're gonna be able to accomplish the things that you need to get done. Now, one thing that I do love about WordPress is the capabilities of the platform are literally endless, especially if you're a seasoned WordPress expert or developer, you're going to be able to build whatever you want, however you want with pretty much zero limitations. Now, it is an incredible platform, especially when talking about plugins because third-party developers have been able to build tons of plugins that just add to the power of the WordPress platform and allow you to accomplish any sort of functionality that you can imagine. And the final benefit, which is really huge, especially if you are a business owner or an agency owner, and that is that WordPress has been around so long that there are literally millions of WordPress developers out there that are ready and willing to help you with your project. And because it is a worldwide platform, you can find really affordable help, especially if you look overseas. And this is a great benefit to be able to have basically an unlimited supply of very well-seasoned WordPress experts that can help you with your website. So we've talked about all the benefits and now I wanna share with you the reasons why I will never use WordPress because we've made it sound pretty great up to this point, but there are some major flaws in the platform that I would beg that you consider before using WordPress. First, WordPress does rely heavily on code and development. Now sure, you can use themes and plugins, but at the end of the day, if you really wanna harness the full power of WordPress, you have to understand how to code. You have to understand HTML, CSS, and JavaScript if you really want to be able to have the full capabilities of the platform. Now this can be frustrating if you're somebody new that doesn't have the time to invest in not only learning the WordPress platform, but also learning how to code. This is a huge time commitment and it can be really frustrating for a lot of people. Now WordPress used to be the best, most simple option, but this just isn't the case anymore because there are so many tools that have popped up in recent years that allow you to build and develop incredible websites without knowing an ounce of code. You can drag and drop and manipulate things visually and then these softwares write perfect code for you. And so there's absolutely no reason why you would need to stick with a software or a platform like WordPress that's just going to require more expertise from you unless you truly are building the most complex web solutions. And for most of us, that's just not the case. So you're gonna be better off using one of these other platforms that's a lot simpler, easier to learn, and easier to use. Now the next downside to WordPress, and probably the one that bugs me the most, is the whole plugin system and getting plugin overload. And this was the first real WordPress experience that I had was with a client early on in my time as a freelancer. And they hired me to take over their WordPress site that was already built out. And when I got into it, they had between 20 and 30 different plugins that were all working together. And it was a pretty cool site, but the problem that they were having is some of the plugins had been discontinued, other plugins needed an update, and as I dove in, I got very overwhelmed because the second I would update one plugin, it would stop working with three other plugins. And then I would have to find which version of those plugins would play well with the other plugins. And then I would have to find replacement plugins for the plugins that were outdated or discontinued. And it was an absolute mess. And I hated the fact that my website was dependent on 
30 different plugins and companies working all in unison and not changing or making any updates for my website to continue to function. And this is a very risky way to set up your website and it's going to cause you problems in the long run. And finally, one thing that you're going to deal with with WordPress is information overload. Now, it is great that WordPress has been around for so long and there are great resources and a great community, but there also is a very good chance that you can get information overload because there is so much information out there on the web from you know different blogs and, and resource centers and then WordPress itself that it can get really overwhelming to find the information or the assistance that you need. And so it can get really difficult because the information gets really murky and you don't really know where to look. So the final question that we need to ask ourselves is, should I use WordPress or something else? Because if you're making this decision, whether it's for your business, your agency, you know, as a designer or a freelancer, you wanna make sure that you're using the best platform for your situation. If you're a developer that already understands how to code and you want to learn how to build very custom and complex websites, use WordPress. If you want an all-in-one solution with easy to use apps, and if you want a platform that's easy to pick up as a beginner and learn really fast, use Wix. And finally, if you want to build really beautiful websites that give you complete control and customization over every single design element on that site, I would definitely use Webflow. So if you've got a second, comment down below which platform are you currently using. Now, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing as I've got new videos like this one coming out every single week. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.